430, shedding new light on poverty as people are rallying today at Portland State University. Activists say too many students are struggling to put food on the table, some while working minimum wage jobs on campus. Our Amy Frazier is digging deeper to find out more. This is the food pantry at PSU. Volunteers here tell me some days they see as many as 100 students needing food. When the food pantry at PSU opens each weekday at 1230, volunteers say they often have a line of students stretching down the hall. I see an unbelievable need at the university. I mean, we have students who are living in their cars. We have mothers who are unable to feed their kids. If that surprises you, volunteers here say you're not alone. It really does. People don't expect students to be struggling with food insecurity. As students, we're perceived as being well off since we're able to have an education, but people don't understand like what it takes to get the education. What do we want? 15 now. What do we Portland want? Jobs with Justice held a rally at PSU where supporters are calling for the university to raise its minimum wage to $15 an hour to support those, including students, working campus jobs. Oregon's governor is expected to sign into law a new minimum wage bill. How does this fit into what you're asking for from PSU? What we're asking for from PSU is to recognize that that bill is six years from now and that people are struggling right now. Organizers argue people here can't wait until 2022 when the minimum wage in Portland is expected to be 1475. Back at the food pantry. I think having a livable wage would take so much pressure off for people. And she hopes the rally raises awareness about poverty on campus. Like saying that it's a problem is important and saying that we're not going to put up with it is important. In Southwest Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.